I want to make a video sharing my experience with troubleshooting a parasitic drop or a parasitic draw on my battery on my Porsche 944. If my car sat for four or five days, it would have a battery that was uh, discharged um, enough to where it wouldn't start the car. And I wanted to share what steps I went through and what I actually found on my car. And hopefully this will help you if you have this issue on your car. So the first thing I did was do my millivolt drop test over all of my fuses. And the fuses that had millivolt readings on them were the, the headlamp motor fuse. So the headlamp motor was pulling amperages. The window, um, they call it a window winder, but the uh, power window motor, um, that, that powers this relay right here. Um, this one had amps or millivolts reading on it, which translates into pulling amps. And then also my interior dome light. So the first thing I did um, was try to figure out the headlight situation. So it turns out my headlights weren't parking all the way. Um, and they, even though they looked like they were down all the way, they were not. And I think part of that reason was uh, the... It, had, it used to have power steering, and the power steering hose was routed funny. I'm not sure if that was a factory routing or if that was an aftermarket routing, but the um, you can see that even this little this little bracket here is bent. It was hitting the power steering line every time it went down, so I think it just created some wear on the system, and eventually it quit parking all the way. Well, underneath this boot is an adjustment wheel. And I adjusted my headlights down until I heard a click. There it is. That's the click that you want to hear. So that tells the relay that it is parked all the way. So the headlights are parked all the way. And now when I turn them off, turn them on, and do a millivolt test on that fuse... There's no amperage on that fuse or no, no millivolt drop across that fuse, which translates into it's not pulling amps. Now, the second one is a little more mysterious. That's the window motor. Number four, that 30 amp right there. So I'm wondering, why does my window motor pull amps? Well, here's something about the 944 that I didn't know. So my door switch is actually missing. Um... So it's that the door switch is actually physically there, but there's no wire on the back of it. So that means my dome light doesn't work. And I'm, I'm, that doesn't really bother me. But the weird thing is that my window, I can still roll up and down with the door open. Well, that's not supposed to be the case. So let me show you how this actually is supposed to work. So when you open your door, let's open the passenger door. Look, now the window switch doesn't work. So the window switch or the door switch tells the DME that the door is open and cuts the window power. So what that means is that the car is designed for when you turn this switch off and pull the key out, you can still roll the windows up or down until you open the door and then the power is cut. Well, since my door switch is bad, I, um, my, my, my door never tells my DME to cut off the power to my window relay. So my power window relay is powered all the time. So I, I did buy a new switch, but I have not been able to fish that wire out of the door jam. I'm not sure where that wire went, but for now, my, um, my solution is to just do what I did on the passenger door. Just pop the door and close it, and then that will cut my window um, relay out so I think that the interior dome light may be tied into that because my 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 dome light fuse is also pulling so I pulled for right now I just pulled that fuse which is number 11 because that runs I'll show you here it runs the interior light the trunk light the cigarette lighter glove compartment light trunk lid release switch so i have um, reduced power shocks on my trunk lid to help with um, 
just to help with the hatch longevity. So when I push my trunk lid, my hatch doesn't pop anyways. So, um, I don't need that. Glove compartment, lighter, I don't care about that. Cigarette lighter, I don't care about that. And the interior light, trunk light, they don't work anyway because um, I don't op when I open my driver door, the light doesn't come on. And I don't get in and out of my trunk all the time because, you know, we know, we know our hatches are kind of fragile. So I just pulled that fuse for right now. When I figure out my door switch, if I can fish that, that wire out of the door jam, or if I have to find out where the other end of that wire is and run a new wire and figure that out, then I'll put this fuse back in and see if I can troubleshoot that and see if I can figure out why that's drawing. But for now, with fixing the headlights parking and figuring out what's going on with that window motor um, relay, which is this one, then, um, which is tied to the door switch. So for now, I've got all my parasitic draws figured out and I'm able to prevent my battery from dying.